Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another session. In this session, I'm going to explain about the importance and uh, configuration steps of uh, field status group in SAP. So generally, this uh, field status group will control the fields which appears during the document posting. So with the help of this field status groups, uh, we can put the fields, whether if it is required, we can, re uh, we can uh, put the required entry and uh, otherwise we can put an optional or we can put as a display and uh, if we don't want to see that field in while posting a document we can suppress it as well so first of all we need to create the field status variant and uh, with the help of transaction code obc4 here so here if you can see uh, 00001 uh, which is uh, SAP has given predefined uh, field status variant. So in the real time also we need to copy this one and we need to create our custom uh, field status group. So now I'm copying this field status group to 2000. Let me copy this one. And it already exists with the same key here. So I will be making it as a Zero 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 one. Just that. and then system will asking for the prompt message copy all or copy only copy entry cancel we need to copy all the entries here then now system is saying number of dependent entries copied 44 okay and then I'm changing the description here registrate as variant for 2001 Hit enter and then click on save here so we have successfully created the field status variant now if you want to see the fields just select this one and click on field status groups here so we'll be having multiple field status like uh, z001 for general z004 for uh, cost accounts and z003 for material likewise if you can see here the general data here we can see these all are not required so we have suppressed it these two we need as optional so that's why we have put as an optional entries here and likewise uh, we will be having all the other things okay yeah now we need to assign this field status uh, field status variant to company code level so for that uh, we need to access the transaction code obc5 which we entered There is some connection issues just a second let me re-login again so to assign the field status group to company field status variant to company code we need to access the transaction code obc file we save that here and the data is locked by user okay this is final so here my company code is 2009 so here I will be assigning my field status group as 001 and then click on save here so here we have a, uh, created the field status variant and we have assigned it to our company code level okay so that's all in this session Thank you so much for watching my videos.